What's up guys? Uh, I'm not going to make a witty comment for the opening of this video because the last video that I made over the past few days I've been getting this amazing feedback from all these people in the film fan community on YouTube and people that I look up to and aspire to be and it's just this it's overwhelming thank you very much I appreciate it I really do with all my heart now let's get this show on the road John, aka Mothman Jones. This is Mothman Jones Movie Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing Project Degeneration X. <laughs> doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I had to. I'm a hardcore WWF fan. So, Project X stars a bunch of people you don't know, but what you might know is as produced by Hangover creator Todd Phillips. And the movie is basically about three guys who are in high school. You know, high school is all about the parties and, like, drinking and getting drunk and having sex with girls. You know, it's, it's not about the education. Come on. So our main character, Thomas, is socially awkward and he has a few friends and he's not really popular in high school. And he has these two friends. And one of them, who is a sick wise-ass and a complete jerk-off, but I'll get to that later, he wants to throw Thomas a big birthday party. And that's what they do. This party that they plan to make is successful, but it's bigger than anticipated. And from there on out, without spoiling anything, many chaotic events occur. I was lucky enough to catch this movie a little early, because who knows if I would have paid for it and not liked it. But, um, I liked it. The main three characters really, really reminded me of the Hangover crew. You got your main character who, in a way, reminded me of Stu because he's very responsible and he isn't an idiot for lack of a better word and then he got the special friend who everybody loves oh! the Zach Galifianakis over the top character has become almost a cliche in movies now and you have that character in this movie and then you also have the cameraman who actually, I thought had a hilarious backstory. By the end of the movie, is also very creepy. Very creepy. Just so you know, this movie really has no plot at all. They, they couldn't have made a deep movie for this. This movie is all about having fun and having a party, and if you go into this movie expecting depth and real character development and like a legitimate cinematic film, I don't know what to say to you. I thought the movie was actually really good because it's basically just a giant over-the-top fantasy of what every teenager's dream is for a party. You know it's a good night when you wake up and you find out from someone that you got punched in the nads by a little person. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors are gonna go into this movie, come out, and say, Oh my god, this was the greatest movie ever! High school kids and, and party movies just mix, like, like, it's like the perfect combo. Oh my god, bro, that was the greatest movie ever. We gotta go see it again. Oh my god, that was so awesome, man. 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 Bro. 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 Broski. Again, with the found footage genre, there's still things you can do. And this movie took the party genre in a new, fresh direction, which I always love to see. Also, there was a lot of, a, there was a lot of funny moments in this movie. A lot of funny moments. The bed. The main best friend, the Jewish kid, forgot his name. I didn't like his character at all. I did. He's one of the most obnoxious idiots I've seen in movie history. He reminded me of people that I know in real life, so that made it worse. Yo, come at me, bro. He just had one of those faces that you want to... You know how they usually like to add another scene to a movie, in the whether it's in the credits or just right before the credits roll? Just for small laughs. Well, they had that extra scene in this movie involving the annoying best friend who I, re as you could see, I hated his character and it just pissed me off. It, it wasn't funny. It was just stupid and obnoxious like his character was the whole entire movie. And just when I was starting to like him, he does this 
And then the, the credits roll, I'm like, you know what? No, I hated that kid. They forced, like, this love subplot with the main character and this girl. This love subplot that they had between these two characters, the main character and this girl, was necessary. I just didn't like the way it was executed. Because I feel like the movie was trying to go for just a big shallow party movie, and then when you have this intimate, like, these intimate little scenes, it just didn't fit. Overall, Project X was a pretty damn good party movie. I mean, it's, it's no super bad, it's no Animal House, there's no American Pie. It depicts this generation as a bunch of idiots that just run amok and cause riots and cause people to explode on fire. This one does not compare to them at all. It really doesn't. But it's a very, very fun time in the movies. Bring your friends, bring your girlfriends, whatever you have, just bring them all. This is, it's, it's a fun movie, and I guarantee you'll have laughs, and you're going to want to probably see it again. So I'm going to give it a... Uh, 3.5 out of 5 stars. Solid film. Just, I can't, I can't set it in the same list as the other great party movies that have come out in the last 10, 20, 30 years. You can see my Facebook page and my Twitter page from the links down below or on my channel. And if you really like my video, please subscribe. Once again, I'm Mothman Jones. See you next time.